السلام عليكم بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولاه اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا إنك سميع مجيب الدعاء اللهم أني أعوذ بك من علم لا ينفع وقلب لا يخشع ونفس لا تشبع ودعاء لا يسمع ربنا لا تزق قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب It's a pleasure to be here جزاكم الله خير for the gift I don't deserve it May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put blessings his blessings and barakah in everyone in every person who works for this deen for Islam for spreading it I want to start with a story, and always when we start with stories, I can capture your attention, hopefully. It's a beautiful food, so hopefully I can take you away a little bit from the food. The, um, one of the icons of the Hanafi school of thought is Qadi Abu Yusuf. He's a very famous student of Imam Abu Hanifa. And his student narrated this story. Qadi Abu Yusuf was an orphan. His father died at a young age. They were poor, didn't have much. So his mother decided to send him to the market to work and make some money to support himself. However, Qadi Abu Yusuf in the market found the halaqa, the class of Imam Abu Hanifa. And he used to sneak out from work, go and attend the class. The mother knows about it, go to the class, pick him up, put him back in the workplace. This is day one, day two, day three, day four. Finally, she came to the class and Abu Hanifa was sitting, Qadi Abu Yusuf, a young man, sitting there. She looked at Abu Hanifa, Al Imam Abu Hanifa. And she said, you know what? You're ruining my child. You're spoiling my child. You're taking him away from our source of income that can help him. Al-Imam Abu Hanifa, the faqih. As Al-Imam Shafi'i used to say about him, كل الناس في الفقه عيال على أبو حنيفة. Every scholar of fiqh is a child if you compare him with Abu Hanifa. So he looked at her and says, woman, leave him there. Let him learn. One day, he will eat al-faludaj. It's a kind of dessert that only kings and high rich people, dignitary, eat it. She looked at him and says, what? Took her child moved, looked at him and says, by Allah, Abu Hanifa, you're getting old and I think you're losing your mind. Years later, before that, Abu Hanifa decided to take him out of the market, pay him daily what he was gaining from work and he taught him. Years later, Abu Yusuf become the Qadi of Baghdad. The judge of Baghdad is like the Supreme Court these days. And one day, he was sitting with Harun al-Rashid, Amir al muminin the leader of the believers. And then they were eating and they served them dessert. And guess what was the dessert? Al-Faludaj, what Abu Hanifa predicted. So he looked at it and he starts smiling. So Harun Rashid looked at him and says, why are you smiling? It's a dessert. He said, nothing, Ya Amir al muminin It's nothing. He said, no, you need to tell me. So he told him the story. And Harun Rashid says, may Allah bless Abu Hanifa. He looked at you with his heart. He didn't look at you with his eyes and look what this brought up. Al-Qadi Abu Yusuf. Every time I come across this story, I remember a story happened to me in Jeddah, where I studied Islamic study. After I moved, I had to work to get, for logistics reason, to get permanent visa, to sit, to stay in the country and to study. 
So one day I was in labor and delivery, as you, some of you, most of you know, I'm an obstetrician gynecologist. So they called me to for a delivery. Next day, I had fiqh exam. So I brought my books with me because sometimes delivery takes long time and I may be able to study. So I left my book and it was book of, book of fiqh, al-umda, and went to see the patient, came back, one of my colleagues next to me looked at me and said, he picked up the book and he said, what is this? What is gonna give you? How much more you will make? Very common question, very common concept. We look at knowledge, how much money it will bring me. And I remembered, of course, the word of Allah. In the Quran, and most of you, inshallah, you know, there's a lot of du'as. There is a lot of supplication Allah taught us. رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَا رَبَّنَا لَا تُزُقْ قُلُوبَنَا بَعْدَ إِذْ هَدَيْتَنَا And on and on and on. And if you look at almost all these du'a, except one, there was no teaching that teaches you and me to ask for more. Except one in Surah Taha, and Allah said it through Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam, and it's a dua. Waqur Rabbi zidni ilma. Oh Allah, increase me in knowledge. Increase me in knowledge. Teach me more. Never ever is enough. And knowledge, because that's a very common question, a lot of people ask, what is knowledge? Which one? So everybody has to go and become an imam and a sheikha and memorize the Quran. What about the others? The answer in a simple word, and it's not my words, scholar's word is any kind of knowledge, number one halal, is allowed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And number two, brings you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what you should pursue. If it is otherwise, then you need to think about it. Is this easy? Is this available? Is this something we want to do? What will make me do it? A lot of people ask me this. What made you go and study Islamic studies and you're already an obstetrician gynecologist? Why? Simple answer from Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam. And this is a hadith by Muawiyah and it is in Al-Bukhari. And Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam said this to each one of us. Your Rasul, my Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam said the following. Man yurid allahu bihi khayran yufaqihu fi al-deen. Man yurid allahu bihi khayran yufaqihu fi al-deen. Whomsoever Allah, my creator and yours, wants khair, goodness, goodness, general, for him or her, what does he do to them? Allah, give them more money, give them big homes, more cars, more vacations. No. Yufaqihu fi deen Teach him or her the inner meaning of this beautiful Islam that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you and me. Unfortunately, the time we are living in, the materialistic life we are living in, this become when I have time. This become when I can. After I finish things, one. Two, it's too difficult, not available. I can't do it. Every time shaitan come to you with this, remember another hadith of Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam. And he said the following, and this is in Imam Muslim and narrated by Abu Huraira. Man salaka tariqan yaltamisu bihi ilma. Man salaka tariqan yaltamisu bihi ilma. Sahala Allahu lahu tariqan. Sahala Allahu lahu bihi tariqan ila al jannah. Do you want to go to jannah? I don't hear an answer. Any doubt? Do you think you can? 
Inshallah, I love this Inshallah. Yes, for sure. But I need to work for it. Simple answer by Rasul alayhi salatu Start learning. Start learning. Look for it. Start the path. Anything. A small lecture, a small book, a small course, bigger, whole Islamic studies. It doesn't matter. He did not define it. He said, just take the path. Do it. Like you want to be physician, teacher, IT, CEO. All these are fine. But why not the other one with it? You take this path. And that's the hadith. Salaka tariqan. You take the path. Sahal Allahu lahu bihi tariqan ila al-jannah. Allah will make it easy for you in this dunya. And more important, your path to akhirah. To Jannah. He didn't say Akhirah. He said to Jannah. You want to go to Jannah. Start learning. Start learning. Take support students who wants to study Islamic studies. They want to be a lawyer, but they want to be a lawyer with learning Islamic rulings. Both together. Two of them together. So put, focus on this ilm, focus on learning. Do you want to be, do you want to be looked at as someone with a status? Sure. Do you want people, do you want people to invite you everywhere? Look at you, they want your company? Sure. Do you want to be in Jannah in the Akhirah, but not in the first level, up high? Absolutely. Learn. Allah said that in Surah Al-Mujadala, يَرْفَعِ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْعِلْمَ دَرَجَاتٍ Allah will elevate the believers, true believers, and those people of knowledge. People of knowledge, the, He, Subhana, will rank you up in stations, in levels of Jannah, not the base. Higher up by the fact. You learned. I don't want to take too much of your time. Two more points. And this goes to the sisters specifically, but the brother's help is needed. Everyone in this room, a mother already, a mother to be, or wants to be a mother. And there is a famous poetry. People who know Arabi in this room probably knows it very well. And this is the poem. The poet is actually Hafiz Ibrahim. He's a very famous Egyptian in the early of the previous century. And he said the following, Al-Ummu madrasatun Ida a'adattaha a'adatta sha'ban tayyib al-a'raqi. Mothers or mother is a school. Mother is a school. If you prepare it well, prepare it well, you will prepare a very well generations to come. Mother, school, if you want to, if you prepared her well, you are, you already prepared very good generation to come. Last point I want to share. Ta'allamu al-ilm. This is a line from Sayyidina Mu'ad ibn Jabal, famous Sahabi, where Rasul looked at him and he said, Ya Mu'ad, inni uhibbuk. Rasul looked at him. Imagine this is you and me. And he said, Ya Mu'ad, I love you. I always say, I wish it was me. And I'm sure all of you. And he said this, it's a long hadith, but I'm going to choose just a few. And he said, Ta'allamu al-ilm, learn this knowledge. فَإِنَّ تَعَلُّمَهُ لِلَّهِ خَشْيَهَ Learning this knowledge for the sake of Allah is, will lead you to the awe, love and fear of Allah. وَطَلَبُهُ عِبَادَهُ Seeking this knowledge is an act of worship. Is an act of worship. وَالْبَحْثُ عَنْهُ جِهَادُ Looking for it, buying the book, finding the book, look at the website, is jihad. Act of jihad. وَمُدَارَسَتُهُ تَسْبِيحُ Studying it is an act of glorifying Allah. An act of of glorifying Allah. I will end up with what I started. وَقُلْ رَبِّي زِدْنِي عِلْمًا 
Ya Allah, I implore to you in front of all of you that each one in this room give us and increase us in knowledge, one, and the dua I started with, I will end up with. Ya Allah, teach us what is beneficial to us and benefit us from what we already learn and what we already know. Jazakumullahu khayran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.